Hey guys, Bruno here. Welcome back to Planet Zoo here once again at Hana Valley Zoo. We're still continuing on. We're doing really, really well, I think. Um, look at our zoo overall. Uh, four star marketing is not very good. We probably do with a little bit of marketing, I guess. Um, let's go with marketing. I don't want to spend too much. Let's go cereal box and posters. Why not? So that's two grand per month, I think. Um, so it'll get that up. Guess happiness is good. Conservation rating, animal rating. Yeah, conservation rating. I'm not sure how we get that a little bit higher, but uh, most appealing is still the aardvarks. So let's have a look um, in here. We have the African wild enclosure, wild dog enclosure, where we need to have uh, four males. Why is it not? Here we go. Four males and. Um, two females it's pretty good so we're, we're doing okay we've got a couple of little bubs here at the moment um, let's go check on the Galapagos tortoise we've got ten ten of them we've only got two adults the rest are all babies so still waiting for those guys to to go do their thing which is only one male for three females and we've got the aardvarks um, we've got three so we've got should usually have one male and one female um, or the two males or two females but one male one female means we can breed so this guy here or this girl here once she gets becomes an adult we can get rid of this one I think that's one that we've purchased so get rid of that uh, let's have a look at our beds taper uh, that's two one male one female at the moment we've got one male, one female, but the female is pregnant, which is good to see. Now our Nile monitors are over here, which is what we did last episode. These guys are still only brand new, so it should still only be the two, and um, not fertile yet. So let's have a look at you. Compare mates. We compare them together. You know, high, oh, 55% because they're low fertility, but... You know that's not too bad I guess. Um, no offspring or anything as yet. Alright, so what I want to do this episode is we're going to do a um, spotted hyena um, enclosure. So I was thinking we do like a big area like around this way. It's a nice, nice big enclosure. So get so come around here then sort of come around a little bit nice I said nice big area there for them to run around in might be a little bit too big though so um, I don't know not really sure let's have a look at um, spotted hyenas I know they do need a fair bit of room there we go 1100 square meters grade 2 fence but um, with the grade 2 fence we can get that done but 1100 square meters is just for the two I think so we need more than 1100 square meters we probably need like 2000 square meters or so um, and what's this one in total 736 square meters so we certainly need a lot more than that so I think we're gonna have to go around a little bit so let's go with some barriers I don't know what this steel mesh looks like. I don't think we really need steel mesh anyway, but let's um, let's come along here, come back into here. You want to do 20 meters, bump it along. I want to drop this down to say seven meters. We can jump back up to 20, maybe not. Right, let's get rid of this move this guy just want this post there we go well now we can should be able to go to add to it there we go so 20 meters so I don't want to go all the way down here let's go maybe another 10 we can go 20 meters this way. So let's drop that back to 10. That should give us an even area there. If we go back 
20 meters, which I think is going to be too much again. Probably better off going on this side. So 20 meters. Drop that down. 10 meters. There we go. Drop this back up to 20 again. That is way out, I think. Way out of square. Alright, let's jump out of here for a second. Let's put our staff path in. Um, get rid of that. Let's go select grid, this grid. does look like it's way out, doesn't it? Then again, I don't know. I don't think it is. It looks like it was way out, but... Let's go 8. Let's draw it back to 7. Put that there. And then we can click on this guy. Then move it out to there. Sort of lines up that way but not. There we go. Alright, so as I said that's a big decent area for them to run around in. Um, let's make all along the front here chain link fence, the rest can just stay as the wood, I don't know if we want wood or, some of them are wood, some of them are corrugated tin, I guess, for me personally, um, if it's an animal with decent sized teeth, we should probably go, should probably go with, um, corrugated tin. So the chain link fence does look pretty good but it still doesn't give us a great deal of viewing. Um, right, let's put in a door. There, let's have a look. What do we have? 2600 square meters, so plenty, plenty of space. Um, I don't know if they need any any groundwork or anything or any good habitat area as far as you know, like hard habitats and that sort of stuff so let's grab both of these guys quarantine both I know they're reasonably small We've got some Indian peafowls as well which we're going to use probably in our next episode I suppose all right let's just play until these guys are ready to go Something to do with staff, I think, then. Come on, quarantine people. Shouldn't be too far away. So the Nile Monitor is expecting offspring. Good news. Not a great deal of donations going in at the moment. Alright, there we go. So one's ready to go. Both ready to go. Alright. Let's move both of you over into here. Let us quickly go back into here, into our staff area. Uh, work zones. We want to edit this work zone. We want to add this guy. Done. That's all we need to do. Let's speed it up again till we get our spotted hyenas in down here and we can have a look at them after that. Eventually they'll get here. Let's quickly do our research. So Nile Monitor, you're done so you can go with the... Where's our spotted hyena? Alright, let's pause. Spotted hyena, there we go. So they're both in here ready to go. So what I'll do now is I'll do a bit of a time lapse again. Um, just building the area up and um, we'll see you guys in a minute.
Alright guys, we're back. So we've finished off the enclosure here. I'm just going to quickly go save the zoo because I did have a crash halfway through doing that time lapse that you guys may or may not have seen. Um, so the keeper comes in the back here. Water trough. So we've got a food trough somewhere over here I think. There we go. We've got a couple of sprinklers. Lots of other stuff for these guys to have a bit of a play with. Let's call the keeper straight away and get them in here. I've um, got the pinata, got the feeding thing, it's like a scent ball, which is pretty cool. I'll put a few blood scent things over here, just to um, get the, the animal interested in coming over this side a little bit too. So plenty of shrubbery, trees, bush around, I'll put this huge hard um, barrier sleeping area in here. So that way they can keep, keep nice and comfy. Um, what sort of temperature do they like? That's one thing I'd like to look at. Uh, habitat, temperature. Let's go Zoopedia. 8 to 40 degrees, that's 42. So I wonder if we could go uh, Habitat. Cooler. Put that in there. Can we put that up to so 28 degrees? wouldn't be too bad. Maybe we should um, actually move that. Put it up. Maybe like somewhere up here so it's sort of not visible. Let's go temperature. So that should cool them down quite a bit in there which is pretty cool. Probably encourage them to stay in there a fair bit. So if we look at the Zoopedia again quickly. Uh, where are they? 8 to 40 degrees, so that's definitely what they want. Nice and cool in here for them. 28 degrees. So you run around like crazy in there, it's going to be really, really good for them. Um, some more research is done. Clear that out of the way. So we've got these guys getting researched as well, so fingers crossed it's not too far away. We really need to start focusing on um, Getting this done, that done, like a picnic area in the middle here, get these guys done, this done. So that might be our next episode, just doing a little bit of shop design and all that sort of stuff. But these people are starting to come over here now. Um, the aardvarks are still the most appealing. Uh, marketing is not great. Animal rating is not great either. So have a quick look through our animals. Um, so we do have... Um, Subira is the one that we've just had born as well, so we can probably grab you and go uh, release to the wild. Yes, we'll let you go. Um, so these guys have still only got, got two adults. Yep, two adults still, so two babies. Bear State is still only two adults. Two snakes, two snakes there. I've still got. Uh, where are we? Got two, two adult tortoises. The rest are still children. We've got heaps of Galapagos tortoises actually, which is interesting. Let's um, give him some contraceptives because we've got. Wow, I can't even count that many. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 tortoises in there. Um, giant cockroaches are doing reasonably well. Two Nile monitors and one's pregnant and there are two cheetahs as well. So we need to change this as, sorry, the hyenas. Let's go spotted hyena enclosure. There we go. So, there we go, there we have it. That's that's us done. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, as always, smash that like button, leave a comment, let me know what you think of the series so far, what you think of this design, and any future ideas you may have, let me know in the comment section. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Bruno, thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.